I'm Genevieve. I'm a paleoanthropologist and rock art researcher, and I'm back answering more questions for the Q&A series for Cave Art 101 with World of Paleoanthropology. The amazing questions keep coming, so thank you for that. And my next question I'm going to answer is from Tambria. Tambria was noticing that it seemed like a lot of the earliest art, both modern human, but also potentially Naledi, um, Neanderthals, Denisovans, so other related species, everything early seems to be linear. She was noticing they all seem to be lines. Um, so, you know, whether we're talking about rows of lines or X's or cross hatches or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I see what you're saying, Tambria. It's a very good point. Uh, I wonder though, if it has to do more with the medium that it's on and with the tools at their disposal. I don't know if you've ever tried to engrave into a bone or on a cave wall, but making an unbroken circular line on that kind of material would be really, really difficult. Um, later on, our ancestors did figure it out. So, you know, by the time we're talking, and also if you're painting, that's gonna be different too, because then you can do it in any, any way that you want. But all of the early stuff that we have so far is engraved, and engraving is definitely, you're a little more restricted to the kind of motions that you can do smoothly um, without it kind of bouncing the tool, right? So I, I wonder if, I don't have a solid answer for you, but I do wonder when I think about that question, because it's a good one, if it's more to do with that, which is that trying to draw a circle on a wall without messing it up and turning it into something super jaggedy. Um, I'm thinking about like, if you've ever tried, you know when you have like a piece of paper and you're on the sidewalk, like when you were a kid and you were trying to do something and it's just bouncing all over the place just with that slight pebbly surface of a sidewalk. Imagine a cave wall, they're super uneven. Or if you're talking about a tiny bone, trying to do something fine enough with a stone tool that you could make a circle would be really difficult. Um, our ancestors absolutely figured it out later on, but during that early stage, um, maybe they were still just kind of getting going on it. But I, I haven't seen anything circular for sure, probably before the Upper Paleolithic, so 45,000-ish. Mm, and then of course, once we see paintings, um, like the animals, there's, there's circular marks in a way, curving lines, things like that. So once we start finding paintings more, then we do start seeing more curves. But I wonder as well if, for instance, if, if we could see other materials they might have been decorating, like if they were decorating animal skins or if they were decorating themselves or, you know, other things that maybe were easier to shape and work with, um, if they might have been doing more circular marks than we actually have seen as of now, but maybe that's more just about preservation in the materials than it is about their actual repertoire. Um, so I think that'll be one of the things that's very fun to figure out as we go forward. So great question, Tambria. Thank you very much.